All right, let's talk about morning routines. Whether you're starting from scratch or you're revamping your current morning routine, this video will give you some best practices to implement a high quality, high impact morning routine that'll get you excited about work, stoked about the projects you're working on, and just feeling more alive in the morning. Because I don't know about you, but I've been in the situation where I've started my day and I've kind of slid into my chair at my desk and you know I'm feeling kind of flat and down not really excited about what I'm working on and I checked the clock and I started work five minutes ago and I'm like oh I got this whole day ahead of me <laughs> of work and I'm not feeling it and I get it and, and I'm sure you've been there once or twice yourself if not that's you right now so let's talk about how to build a morning routine that actually helps you to engage with the day with intention and gets you excited and, and helps you to enjoy it more as well and the first thing we got to understand about morning routines is that they don't have to look a certain way I think so many people shoot themselves in the foot by looking at it from a perfectionistic perfectionistic standpoint they think that morning routines are something you craft and you look at it and you build and you slowly construct and then you release it and you start it and it just runs perfectly for the rest of your life that's a really unhelpful perspective Instead, think of your morning routine as a layered stack where you start with one simple act in the morning of intention that sets you up for a great day. And once you've done that for 30 days and you've reflected on it every week and made sure it's, it's working for you, you add another layer and you add another layer. It, a morning routine is a habit and any, any good habit requires stacking to make sure that it's sustainable and that it's actually helping you. So don't fall in the trap of thinking that morning routines are something you have to get perfect from the get-go. They are crafted over time. They are perfected through doing, not perfected through planning. Okay, so with that, let's talk about my best practices for morning routine. What I like about the different aspects of the morning routines that I've tried over the years and what I've worked with with clients to help them as well. And the first, thing about a morning routine. The first thing is movement. Uh, the second thing is reading and prayer or meditation. The third thing is getting inspired. So let's talk about movement. Movement, getting going, exercising, doing something physical at the beginning of the day. This is the first and potentially most important aspect of a morning routine. And this is why. Movement, first of all, gets your exercise in at the first um, top of the day. It helps you to get that exercise done, which we all need in our lives, but also it helps you to overcome a mental barrier. You see, we can all start our day with a tone of sort of laid back, lackadaisically, sort of going through the motions, reacting according to how we kind of feel, how we rolled out of the bed that morning, or we can start our day by telling our brain, this is what I'm doing. This is important to me, so I'm gonna make it happen. We act our way into feeling instead of feeling our way into acting, right? That's what movement does. It tells your brain, hey, I know it sucks to kind of roll out of bed at 6.15 and run two miles, but I'm gonna do it because I'm in charge of what today is about. And that's a really, really different tone than sitting in your bed for 15 minutes scrolling through social media first thing in the morning or checking in your, your feeds or your emails first thing when you get to your desk. That tone is, is unhelpful. It really doesn't set you up for a win and it doesn't get you excited about the day. So instead, start your day with movement, get your exercise out of the way, and overcome a mental barrier, a challenge first thing in the morning. That'll be so helpful. I also like to end this with uh, the, the movement part of the routine with a cold shower. And uh, I know not everybody loves that, but I've really found it to be helpful in terms of feeling good. There's all sorts of research about the slow release of dopamine, and I would recommend uh, you at least try a cold shower um, for a month. Okay, second part of the morning routine is reading and meditation slash prayer. So this, this is super helpful in terms of reading because I don't know about you, but I'm a little foggy in the morning. I'm not always like keyed in cognitively first thing. Um, so what reading does, is it helps me to get centered, to, to focus on something and, and to turn on that um, learning and um, thinking side of my brain. 
So I pick up a book and, and I'm a man of faith as well. So I'll read some scripture. Uh, I'll also read a book that I'm, I'm going through right now that helps me develop a skill or helps me to um, you know learn something new in the area of my expertise and, and personal development, professional results. And so I look forward to that. Um, I also meditate and pray. So um, there's a million videos out there about how to meditate and pray, but you know the benefits, uh, briefly I'll put them here, is, is meditation helps you bring you into the moment now. It reduces anxiety. It helps you to not feel worried about the day or stressed about the things you have to get done. But again, tell your brain that, hey, today is about now. Today is about feeling the moment. Today is not about just rolling with the emotions I woke up with. And prayer, for me, it really helps me to focus on other people. It, it centers my heart in the right place, on service first thing in the morning. Service is, of course, one of our highest callings as human beings. And if we can focus on others at the beginning of our day and, and the contribution we want to make at the beginning of the day, we set that tone that today is not just about me and what I want, but I'm here for something greater. So that's that second portion of the morning routine. The third piece, so we got movement, we got prayer, meditation, reading. The third piece is getting inspired. And this is so exciting. This is the fun part. So we get to roll into um, your office or, or wherever you want to do it and get excited about the project you're working on. So look at those goals that you have for the year, for the next five years, for a week, whatever those goals are you're working towards, read them, write them down. Think about how exciting it is to be able to accomplish them. If you have any phrases that really resonate with you in terms of uh, being sort of mantras or truths or sayings that you need to hear in that particular time in your life, say those out loud. Um, I have phrases that help speak against the specific uh, untruths that, that would otherwise hold me back. Um, that I just say over myself every morning. And I encourage you to do that because the, those phrases that connect with you really help you to um, wash away that, that negative self-talk that would otherwise bring you down in your day. And those phrases, you'll, you'll know them when you hear them. They're the truths that you need to hear in that season of your life that you're in right now. And you have to say those, and again, out loud, because that tells your brain that this is true, this is real, this is, this is concrete. <clears throat> so read those out loud. Look at your projects. Um, be someone who, who just be, reads something important that you wrote at the beginning of the day. So every year I write a uh, manifesto for what I want the year to look like, what I want for my family, what I want for my business, what I want for my personal life. I would encourage you to write something like that and read it every morning. Get inspired by the things you're moving towards, um, by the kind of person you want to be. That, that manifesto for the year can describe who you want to be this year, how you want to show up in the world, and um, that's going to be really powerful for setting the tone again in the day by reading those inspirational long-term perspective things. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have a really good exercise called the North Star Exercise, which helps you to craft specific words that you want to show up as today. So these words will clarify for you the kind of person you want to be on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is the moment to pull those words out and to read them out loud again and set that intention for the person you want to be today. So getting inspired, that's the last piece. And the, and the, the final thing I'll leave you with, so that, that's, that's what I'd recommend for a morning routine. Those are, those are the major pieces. The final thing I'd leave you with is make sure it's fun. Make sure that you look forward to your morning routine. When I go to bed, I get excited. I told my wife this, I'm like, I can't wait for my morning routine tomorrow. Because I, I, I think it's exciting to get up and to exercise, to overcome that challenge. I look forward to reading the book that helps me get more um, skills in my chosen um, area of expertise. And I really do look forward to reading my, my manifesto, my, my words that describe who I want to be, my um, phrases that describe uh, who I am and the truth about who I am. So whatever gets you excited about a morning routine, put that in there first, you know, put that as the first layer. Because really, 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 if you want a routine to be sustainable in the morning, don't let it be a drag. Just because it's an important piece of your day doesn't mean it needs to be serious the whole time. 
So loosen up, have some fun with it. Shift it every week, adjust it to make sure that it remains fun and, 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 and fresh. And I guarantee you, soon enough, you'll start having a morning routine that gets you fired up for your day, fired up for your goals, and really connected to the day in a whole new way. So I wish you the best luck with implementing that.